This week, the day finally came when we could start taking off and removing some of this old wooden deck that's out the front of the manor. Uh, it just, for us, didn't fit with the look and um, a lot of it was rotten, so we wanted to get rid of it. So I've been waiting a long, long time for the deck to come off. So it was very, very exciting this week when we could actually cut out some of that wood and say goodbye to at least half of the wooden deck. With half the deck now gone, it was time to clear the rocks we found underneath and put down some gravel. Sadly, we did not find any treasure. One of the big debates we had about the front of the, the manor was where the steps should be. Now, when you come out of the front door, um, we previously had the steps right on the front of the manor so you would come out of the front door and turn left and go down the steps so that was one option but we also wanted to play around with well what would happen if we moved the steps to the other side and what would that look like so what we decided to do was take the steps that were originally here right at the front and move them to the side so they now effectively when you come out of the front door the steps would be straight ahead of you so we moved the wooden ones we have into those position and we've been kind of just playing with it to see how it feels and how we like it and to be honest with you we do we really like it so that the steps are straight ahead um, rather than on the front I think it really kind of frames the space really nicely um, the only thing you have to do is just remember that when you come out the front door you don't turn left you go straight otherwise you kind of fall off the edge but um, the dogs are gradually getting used to it it took them a few days but uh, I think we're going to keep the steps where they are now on that uh, straight ahead as you come out of the door. Now we've decided on the position of the steps we're going to replace the remainder of this wooden deck with stone and concrete to make a really nice entrance way into the manor. The other thing I love about taking down this old deck is this beautiful original rock wall that we've exposed on the side of the house. This is the fireplace in our master suite bedroom and when we first moved in uh, this was completely blocked up, it was blocked up with pieces of wood uh, and when we took away the wood we discovered underneath that you could still see the original brick chimney which I love. So I want to be able to expose that brick in the bedroom and be able to see it. I've already started stripping the paint off the fireplace and we've taken off the top mantle because we're going to do some repairs to it and then put it back on. Um, but I really want this to be the brick. And what they've done is that they had covered the brick with plaster and you can see here that the plaster is underneath and on top of that is this really unique wallpaper and unfortunately you just can't, we can't save the wallpaper. Um, it's so um, fragile and it's so old and it's been kind of discoloured from the fire or from um, thing, you know, over time that I'm not going to be able to keep that. So I'm going to take pictures uh, and so I can remember the wallpaper but I'm not going to be able to actually keep it. You can see when I take this rusty pipe out, you can see all the soot that's still in there um, from the fireplace. And this is pretty, pretty nasty. It's rusted right through. But you can now see the uh, original bricks. So we're going to have this bricked up um, and match to these bricks. And today I'm going to take off this plaster so that I can get a really good look at all the bricks. So 
I've taken all the uh, plaster off and um, the brick is looking great. You definitely need some TLC, um, but I think it's going to look really great with the fireplace. And the really good news is I actually managed to um, save a little bit of the wallpaper. And it's not huge pieces, but it's really cool because I can add it. I've actually got a collection of uh, little pieces of wallpaper that we found around the manor. So I'm going to add this to my collection. Um, and it's nice to be able to remember exactly what was on this wall back in the day. This week, one of my big jobs has been scraping the paint from the bedroom of our master suite. And I've systematically decided that I would start at one corner of the room and just work my way round. Um, there are one, two windows, three doors and a fireplace in here with baseboard as well. And uh, the detail on the uh, mouldings is really quite intricate in places. You, you can't almost see it with the amount of paint that's on there, but when you start stripping the paint off, you find that they've got this beautiful intricate detail which is great, but not so good when you're trying to strip the paint. So it takes a long time and it's not the most fun job. So I decided that if I just start in one corner and I work my way around and I just have to do it in that order, then I don't get the option of just picking the good bits and leaving the really bad bits till the last moment when I have to go back and do all of them at the same time. So it's taken me a while, but um, my plan is by hopefully in the next few days I'll finish the rest of this room and then it can be sanded and repainted and start coming back to life again. So I still have the other half of the room to go so I'm going to get cracking on with my paint stripping and I'll see you next week on our next edition of Lady Smith Manor Diaries.